Hi, I'm Jo Good. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to my world. I'm single. I don't have children. I don't have a man. I do have a British bulldog. Oh, for goodness sake, that camera's up there again. I'm certainly not a 2009 YouTuber. Indeed, I'm a lot older. I'm not Zoella. I could be Zoella's grandmother. It's not cold. It's just wet and miserable. But unlike most people of my generation, I am obsessed with YouTube. It's Joe Good Show, the best show on earth. <laughs> yeah. We're better than Six Music, just tell them. So, in an online world consumed by millennials, I'm setting out on a quest to see if I can mobilise the middle-aged masses and find a following of my own. My first port of call is beauty, health and lifestyle vlogger Nadine Baggett. Nadine has been in the business for nearly 30 years. How did you know that YouTube was going to be such a big deal and that you could be part of it? I was at lunch probably about six or seven years ago with a friend of mine who worked in PR and just said, there's a revolution coming and either you get on board or you lose your voice. Magazines are dying in the water. Beauty is the fastest growing subject on YouTube and nobody else is doing it your age. They're all teenagers and they're all in their 20s and they're amazing and they're earning a fortune, but they don't really have an informed opinion, it's simply their opinion. Hello and welcome back. I thought I would answer. Nadine has over 100,000 subscribers and has agreed to be my unofficial mentor. I'm now resting at my six and a half thousand. What advice would you give me? And you can say anything to So the first thing you need to do is come on my channel and film with me. This is how it works. Because this is how it works. They want to see authentic, raw, unfiltered content. This is BBC Radio London. Joe Good. BBC Radio London, Joe Good in the afternoon. 20... Back in my day job as a radio presenter, I've invited YouTube megastar Louise Pentland in to have a chat with me under the pretense of promoting her new book. Good morning. Oh, hi. Top vlogger, best-selling author. Welcome to BBC London. What an intro. Louise started vlogging as a hobby whilst working as a receptionist, but is now a global personality with a whopping 7 million subscribers. When we started, it was a very, very underground thing. I had 35 followers on my blog and thought, yes, made it. Um, and then I had a comment on YouTube from a woman called Kathy in Germany. And I was like, wow, made it now. It's me and Kathy. We're on the road. Do you sometimes wonder before you post a vlog, have I just gone too far? Have I let them in too much? This is such an authentic industry. You cannot fake it. We're not presenters. So if you're lying, people will know and they won't like that and you won't succeed. I gave birth on a Sunday morning at three minutes past 10 a.m. By 1 p.m. that day, the vlog was yes, up. Yes, I saw it. I'm 64 and I'm really trying to get into vlogging in a big way. I love this. And I love I, this. But I'm, do you think, you know, I've missed the market, basically. It's a bit old to try and join your gang. No, I'd be really upset if you didn't keep pushing forward because, number one, you enjoy it, so why shouldn't you? You've got just as much right to be there as anybody else. And number two, there'll be lots of other women who are 64 who would love to watch another 64-year-old woman smashing it. Well, my fake tan's gone into blotches. My listeners don't know how to log on to YouTube. Teach them, teach them. Hello, everyone. I hope you don't think this is patronising, but many of my listeners tell me they don't know how to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So Louise Pentland, the very successful blogger, she said, teach people how to subscribe to your channel. So here I go. Go into YouTube. Then you type in Joe Good Middle Age Minx, go into that, and there is a red subscribe button, which will come up, subscribe. And don't worry, you don't have to pay for anything. Subscribe simply means follow. I really hope this makes sense. Does it, Matilda, do you think? I can't talk about turning you back on me. But in my quest for global domination, I've been warned of the pitfalls of chasing numbers. I'm about to do a Skype interview for the BBC for a programme called Inside Out. Steph Michelat was making films for Heat magazine before he left to become a YouTube phenomenon. He exposed every aspect of his life, getting married, having kids, even escaping from the madness of London for a quieter life in Somerset. Today, I'm speaking to him on Skype. I realised when we moved to, to Bath and we moved into a smaller city, we'd be forced to turn the camera in on ourselves more. 
and show what's inside us rather than just show what's around us. You have just over um, a quarter of a million subscribers. I mean, that's a hell of a lot. Someone said to me, you can't be taken seriously with less than 100,000 subscribers. It's a dangerous thing focus focusing on the metrics. You get 1,500 subscribers and then you're getting close to 2,000. You're going to want to hit that 2,000. You get the 2,000, you want to hit the 10. You want to hit the 100. You want to hit the million. There's, there's no end. There's always another step. Just do it because you love it. So there you have it. It's not all about the numbers. But I'm small fry in a world of much younger, better looking influencers. But I'm not letting them win yet. So I'm ready to film whenever you okay. are, so you let me know. Now I'm back with Nadine. She's agreed to let me collaborate with her on the condition that I show her 100,000 YouTube subscribers how I apply my makeup. Not at all embarrassing. Hi and welcome back to the channel. I have a very special guest. Anybody who's pretty much obsessed with BBC Radio will recognise that this is Joe Good. I can't believe I'm doing this in front of you, sorry. This just makes me laugh. <laughs> also, what the people you have on never do the makeup face that I do. I do the, all this bit with my mouth. But... Oh, it's the perfect shave for you. Isn't it? Joe Good, radio DJ, does not have a face for radio, has a face for TV. Now I've supposedly done Nadine a big favour by going on her channel, she's about to play me a big hand by giving me a plug. You need to follow her at Middle Aged Minx on Twitter, on Instagram and on YouTube. Let's get following Joe Good on Instagram. Love you. Mm. Now let's find the other cat. <laughs> <laughs> See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. The next morning, Matilda and I woke up to discover I had become a YouTube sensation. Overnight, I have gained 1,200 subscribers. Now, that would usually take me six months, and I've just, well, she's done it for me overnight. But even with a few extra followers, I can't do this on my own. I need an agent yes. to seal my fate and take me right to the top. With a little persuasion, I've blagged myself a meeting with Lucy Loveridge. She's the head of global talent at Gleam Futures, who represent the biggest names in the YouTube industry. One of your clients, I think he said the first 100,000 is the most <laughs> difficult, and I just thought, I don't think I've got enough time left in my life to get to 100,000. It is, you know, 7,000 has taken a long time. Mm. Do, is there, all right then, Lucy. You're a very busy woman, though. Uh, yeah, but that ha helps my content. It does, but equally you can't do everything. So, I've got my collaboration, I've got some more followers, now it's time to pop the big question. Will you represent me? <laughs> How did I know that that was coming? Did you? Yes! We should continue it. our relationship <laughs> and see where it goes. Is there potential with me? I think so, because you've got a unique audience. And that's why I, I never look for the numbers. I'm not interested in signing people with huge numbers. If they speak to an audience that nobody else speaks to, that's interesting. Oh, well, I've tried everything. I've collaborated with my mentor, the very successful Nadine Baggett, and gained myself 1,200 subscribers overnight. I've just got to get all those people who have never ever subscribed to YouTube or loathe YouTube or are suspicious of YouTube to give it a go with me. Anyway, what do you think, Matilda? She's had enough. Maybe we should just stick to podcasts, okay? Mm.